Game Freak had to be trolling when making this design decision. In Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, there's a number of powerful new legendary Pokemon added and a few super strong non-legends like the Paradox Pokemon. While all these Pokemon have the potential to be very strong and competitive, they didn't really need to make Coridon, Miraidon, Fluttermane, and Shen Pao all have the same speed stat, right? On top of that, they have the potential to all one-shot each other. And while this is kind of annoying, this is a teaching moment. If you don't know how speed time mechanics work in Pokemon, it's basically like this. When two Pokemon on the field move and have the exact same speed stat, the one that moves first is chosen at random. So if you have a Miraidon and Coridon versus a Fluttermane and Shen Pao in a doubles game, the Pokemon that moves first out of all four of these is completely up in the air when the players select their moves, given all of them are trained to be maximum speed. Competitive players tend to try to avoid these speed tie situations by using items like Choice Scarf or speed control options like Tailwind or Icy Wind, but in this particular situation, it's completely unavoidable and that will happen in competitive too. But they definitely could have avoided this, right?